Hi, I'm Dustin Abbott, and I'm here to give you a look at a tripod and fluid head combination from iFootage. I'm going to give you a breakdown of both of them independently, as you can buy them either in a kit like this, or you can buy them independently, and there definitely are some interesting attributes about both. I'll also preface this by saying that there are, this represents kind of the top of the, in, top of the line products from iFootage, and so also, of course, represents the highest price point. And this is great value for money if you're looking at the high end. But I do want to stress that there are less expensive options from iFootage that are available that I believe uh, employ some of the same quality of engineering as we'll see in this uh, particular setup. So we're taking a look at, first of all, at the Gazelle TC9 sticks here. So this is their top of the line carbon fiber uh, tripod and I, as, as just taking as a tripod itself, I really, really like the versatility and the quality of engineering on this. And so uh, you have a tripod that weighs in at 2.36 kilograms, can support a 12 kilo payload, which obviously is um, more than enough for basically any of your applications. Very, very tough and stable here. What I really like is the versatility of height adjustment. So as a frame of reference, I'm a six foot one. I'm trying to remember what that is in centimeters. I think it's around 185, 186, somewhere in that range. But anyway, to give you though a sense of scale, uh, you can go down as low as 20 centimeters with the tripod and so great for low angle. And then you can also adjust it up without a center column all the way up to 165 centimeters. And of course that's not including the head, that's just the tripod base. And so by the time you add the head assembly on there, and of course a camera, you can see that it's actually taller than I am. And so a great amount of versatility of your height adjustment and of course all of this without a, a center column. And that leads me to another um, really unique feature that I've not seen before and that is a quick release for the bowl here. And so you just have to do a twist, you hit a button and your bowl is out that quickly. And so you could actually swap in between uh, a couple of different, you know, heads, for example, if you wanted a head that was, you know, a fluid head for video work or a more traditional, maybe ball head for uh, stills work, you know, it's that quick to swap things out. So, you know, a pretty nice feature to be sure right there, toolless and to be able to do it that quick is pretty impressive. I was really also impressed by the uh, engineering on things like the buckles for a leg adjustment. They're very precise, uh, they move well. Frankly, this has been my greatest irritant with certain tripods. I've reviewed probably at least 20 tripods at this point, and there have been some that particularly over some extended use, I've really become disappointed in that. Some tripods that I've just abandoned altogether because of how frustrating it becomes, just you know, inconsistent tension, and so you have some slippage. It's not always supporting the weight. Everything here is really nicely engineered. I'll also say that the adjustment for the leg angle um, it's, it's engineered probably as nicely as anything that I've seen before, so I'm really impressed with that. All of the, everything seems to be, as far as these pieces, seems to be made out of a machined aluminum. Uh, everything just feels nice and quality. You've got the typical versatility at the feet to where you can expose a spike if you're, you know, in uh, sand or snow or something like that. Or, you know, you can adjust back to get the rubberized, uh, you know, surface that's going to keep you from slipping on a smoother uh, surface like what what I have got here. And so all told, I actually really, really like the tripod itself. Now the uh, head here is the Komodo K9. And so this is a fluid head, which is very specifically for video work. And the advantage of a fluid head, as opposed to a traditional tripod head, is that if you try to do uh, video pans, you know, be it left or right or uh, up or down, you typically get very, very poor performance because they're just not the right kind of uh, both a combination of smoothness but then also of resistance and and so a fluid head particularly a well executed one really gives you a lot of versatility that can be tailored to your payload and make sure that you have the right amount of tension for both your personal strength but then also the combination that you've got on there. 
this uh, works really, really well uh, as far as that goes. And that leads me to what is, you know, maybe one of my favorite features about this particular head, and that is they have what they call a dynamic balancing. So basically what it is, is you've got a, a dial here on the side that allows you to select a out of five different positions depending upon the weight of your payload. So for example, on the zero setting, you can see that there's not enough resistance. And so the camera begins to tilt down if it's past a certain angle. If I go even to two, you can see that it's too much Tension and you can see the payload lifting up. In this case, a one is a perfect one, and so you can see it holds the position, and thus it allows me to select the height that I want. And so, for example, if I go to that position, the tension is just right to hold it in whatever particular position that I want. And so I don't have to worry about continually, you know, locking knobs and trying to keep it in a certain position. So very, very useful for that. It also has tension knobs on either side along with knock locking knobs. The tension knobs allow you to control the amount of tension. And if I have any criticism, it does feel like there isn't as much precision in the tension knobs as what I would like. I had to start to develop a feel for it because it's not like I could just say, oh, you know, I'm going to want to dial it somewhere around the middle and that's going to be just right. No, I had to uh, play with it a little bit and get a sense for those tension knobs. So I think that that's an area that could be mildly improved, but overall everything works here as it should. There is uh, both a you know a hardcore locking knob and then a quick release uh, for the QR plate here. And so you can very quickly uh, go in and out on that. And then when you've got the position you want, just lock it in with the uh, lever on the other side. Once again, everything is really nicely engineered here. I like the fact that you can mount your, um, your extension for you know, control on either side here. There's also some you know, uh, ability to control your angle and tension on this as well. And so overall, it just it works, uh, bottom line. And so independently, as I noted, the sticks go for 389. Uh, you can get to the uh, K7 head for about 330. 20 or 30 US dollars. You can buy the combination for about 700 US. Save a little bit of money there if you want both pieces. And as noted, there are less expensive options from them. But so far, I've been really impressed with the quality of what is here. As I said, I've had experience with a lot of different tripods and I like what I, I am feeling from this. And I like the sticks enough that even though I'm, you know, obviously what I do mostly as far as video work is I set up a camera on a tripod in the position I want, and then I'm in front of the camera. I'm not often the camera operator, and so uh, I'll probably put this into use actually in our, our church for a video usage there um, if I were to acquire one. Um, but I like the sticks enough that I'd also be tempted to throw a traditional ball head on there and, and use it just as a, a typical tripod there because it really is steady and as you saw, very versatile in terms of height. So good stuff all around. I'll throw a linkage in the description down below if you would like to uh, look at the uh, iFootage website and do a little further research. Also some buying links there if you would like to purchase one for yourself or explore that option. There's also linkage there to follow me on social media, to become a patron, to sign up for my newsletter. And of course, if you haven't already, please click that subscribe button right here on YouTube. Make sure to click the bell to get notifications when new content drops. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and let the light in.